Hey guys, this is Subhash Esmishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to find the duplicate characters in a string. So here you can see one example. I have taken one string, go to gym and what are the duplicate characters here? The duplicate characters are G and O, right? So here you can see G present twice and O also present twice. So duplicate characters are G and O. So let's do it through a program and uh, let's find the duplicate characters in a string so let's go to our eclipse okay so first thing what we'll do we'll create one class okay and uh, let me name it as duplicate characters okay and public static void main fine so first thing what we'll do we'll take one string okay so i'm taking string s equal to the same string I'll take for example go to gym okay I have taken a smaller string so I can explain it easily uh, you can take any big string also it will work okay so now what I did I took one more variable okay count and type is integer okay so we'll see where we'll use this count then what we'll do, we'll convert this string, we'll convert this string to a character array, right? So to do that, what you need to do, you need to write char, then I'll name it as string array, which is equal to s dot, right, to char array, here you can see, right? So the first one you can take. So what we did here, we converted this string into a character array right then you can write a sysout statement so this sysout statement is mainly like just a statement before you find the duplicate characters so duplicate character in a string okay fine now what we'll do we'll write the actual logic so you can write a for loop for int i equal to 0 okay give a space here then i is less than what you need to write this string right so string dot length okay then i plus plus fine now what we'll do we'll write count equal to 1 so I'll explain you all these things what we are doing here don't worry why we are doing and all I'll explain everything okay then we'll write one more for loop for okay int j equal to i plus 1 okay then j is less than string dot length the same thing whatever we did here then j plus plus right then what you need to do you need to write a if block if okay i need to give a space here okay if what you will do here the condition so what is the condition here if string of i okay is equal to string of j okay with that we'll write some more condition also and string of i okay is not equal to space okay if this condition satisfies what we will do we will increase count okay now what we will do we will set string of j to 0 to avoid the printing of same character again and again so what we will write string of j okay is equal to 0 fine now what we will do we will write again a if block 
if count is greater than 1 and string of i is not equal to 0 then what will tell will print what will print will print string of i okay fine let's execute it i'll explain you everything don't worry okay so here i can see a duplicate characters in a string are go and so we are getting the correct result just to repeat if i'll put m for example m y just i just put some random things so now it should come m and y also both the things it should come right yeah see these things are also coming now so it's okay our program is running fine so let me explain you this program okay so what we did here first we have taken one string uh, so s equal to go to gym so then we have taken one more variable int and count so the type is integer and variable name is count okay then what we have done here we have converted the string into a character array okay so the array name is string of array so string okay then we are just giving a print print statement sys out statement duplicate character in a string then we are writing a for loop what we are telling here for int i equal to 0 i is less than string dot length so what is the length here okay we can print that also so let me print that okay so it will be easy to understand length okay so we'll print this let me do it here okay so length is 9 okay so you can see the here 2 1 3 to 5 6 and 3 so space is also taking one one character right okay so now what we'll do we are, we are here right for int i equal to 0 i is less than equal to uh, 9 which is correct i plus plus then we are telling count equal to 1 so we are assigning 1 to count so count value is 1 now i value is equal to 0 then we are telling for int j equal to i plus 1 so i value equal to 0 j value is equal to 1 now right then what we are telling j is less than string dot length again 1 is less than 9 which is correct so condition is matching then j plus plus we are coming inside it then we have a e block what we did here if string of i string of i means 0 right so g in the 0th position g is present and string of j is equal to o is present we are comparing g with o if it it equal and string of i is not equal to 0 okay and not equal to space in any way i value is equal to 0 so this condition is not matching right so we will go here okay then j value will increase so when j value will increase j value will be 2 so again we will come here and we will see it will not match again j value will increase and it will be t so again we will compare it will not match again j value will increase and it will be o again it will not match again it will be space and it will not match when g value will be sorry when j value will be g right so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the when j is equal to 6 means string of sixth position it will match the condition will match so when the condition will match what we will do we will tell count plus plus so count value will be 2 here and in string of j in, in jth position 
so in the sixth position we'll put zero so finally how it will look now so the value will be something like this so in this position we'll put zero because we don't want to print it again right so i'll i'll show you uh, why we are putting it zero we'll see it here okay so basically we will we'll compare like that and if we'll find a uh, similarity then we'll put zero to it right so basically you understand each character we will compare with all other remaining characters and if we find a matching things then we will increase it and we will put 0 to that value ok then here what we will do if count is greater than 1 so count is increased to 2 right so which is condition is matching and string of i so in the string of i is not equal to 0 so when all these things got over ok when this loop got over and i value right so i value was 0 and what we found here if count is greater than 1 and string of i string of i means string of 0 0 is equal to g when g is not equal to 0 condition is correct in that time we are telling print string of i so we printed g okay similarly for o the same thing will happen and we will print o okay so that's how this duplicate characters program is working okay thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel